my girl says I have these weird theories about everything, which is amazing because I have a theory about her and it goes, while she's somewhere doing her, somebody's world revolves around her. And for a fact, it's me. And not even for a second do I ever want to stop spinning. I never want to enter dreamland and not see her face. I never want to pray and not thank the Lord for that first day that we met. I saw her and in a split second I felt loosened from what I'd known heaven to be. I had never wanted to kiss a human so bad. And I hated each of our footsteps as they led us closer to a part. I'm starting to think the sky has got hands in which I'm happily stuck because I ain't never stopped falling ever since. I'm getting friendlier to Earth, and my plan is to learn a lot from him. He goes millions and billions of years just being about the sun, and I want the same for me. Being about her every fucking day, composing hymns that worship her spiritual smile for the rest of my fucking life, man. That's a poem. Uh, this other one I performed last time, it's also a love poem. If, if you're not into love, bear with me a little. <laughs> but you suck. Um, this one I performed last time, it's called uh, Dark Skin Girl. Yeah, thank you. To the dark skin girl holding my hand, who's bedroom window wishes that the curtains always be drawn apart. I bet you are the reason the sun showed up earlier today. I bet he prayed you'd come out today. I bet you're the doorknob to open-mindedness. God, you're such a beautiful realization. I bet you had been on God's mind the night before she invented a butterfly. And the stars. I bet on your lips there's a formula for change. I bet your kiss is a trigger for consciousness. I bet, sorry. I bet on your breath is the pillar of God's sanity. I bet you're the master key that will open any heart more to love. I bet you're my best shot, love, at eternity. So please hold on to me a bit longer, let's Pull me to yourself, getting closer, let's drive each other's heat up until our heart prints burn. For just one heartbeat longer. Which This one's called 10 Reasons I Couldn't Leave Even After You. 10 Reasons I Couldn't Leave Even After You. One, I loved you so right, you eventually learn to love yourself. You made me feel like I can change the world. Two, you told me I was your favorite place, something I had never been to anybody else before. Three, yours were the only jokes I could take about my imperfections. You were the only person that had ever claimed to love my smile. I had never felt like the cherry on top of anybody's life. I swear on my shit. Four. I believed ours could have been a kind of light that shadowed the moon if we just had held on, you know? Five. I am aware of my potential. I can change the world. I just wanted only to change yours. Six. The saddest part about you running off with somebody else is that you took with you things I could never buy back. My faith, my innocence, all extravagantly spent on you. Seven. I had believed in your promise that having other people on your mind while we cuddled was only a matter of time, that it eventually stopped. Right? Eight. There's no doubt, I was your favorite drug, 
But somewhere along the way, I grew addicted to being used by you. Nine. I could have strained my last breath to say, I appreciate your love, and you would have said it back, even though it would have been a lie. Because ten, unlike you, I truly loved you. 